I think the Yankees are looking for a leaner, meaner Torres. And to your point about slimming down, I think that they think a player who will play at 24 this year should be more athletic and should be able to make all those plays. I think the Yankees believe that the version of Torres that we saw in 2020 is the aberration and that he still can be a major league shortstop and can still be an effective and productive major league shortstop. John is right about the offensive side, but even the offensive side eroded last year. I think he got a little frustrated. We have praised him for his hitter's IQ and all of the smart things he does at the plate. We didn't see that in 2020. But one of the things we also have to remember, guys, is when you have a player of Glaber Torres' talent, the Yankees aren't going to suddenly see 40 games in 2020 and wipe their hands of this guy. Anyone who thinks that the Yankees should include Glaber Torres in a trade for Lindor, as great as Lindor is, Lindor's going to be a free agent in one more year. You're not giving up what you have in Torres in the next few years and the control you have of him for Lindor. If you play this game long enough, you're going to struggle at some point offensively. We saw that from Torres, but we also saw in that graphic he picked it up offensively during the postseason and reminded us who he can be, Jack, to your point. The one thing about Glaber, if it doesn't work out at shortstop for him, you could always move him back to second base. Later on in his career, been a lot of shortstops I played with that made it to the big leagues playing shortstop and they moved over to third base. They ended up hitting 30, 35 home runs, and it was an easy transition. I think he's going to get another shot at shortstop. If it doesn't work out, you can always move him around. All right, so guys, we've already talked about Glaber and Gary Sanchez. Hot button topic going into 2021. Is it more Sanchez for you or Glaber? For me, it's, it's Gary Sanchez because we talked about Glaber. He's going to be able to hit. Gary showed us last year that opposing pitchers were throwing fastballs right by him. And if you're a major league hitter, you cannot let that happen. I feel like Gary Sanchez is at a crossroads in his career. We talk about Glaber Torres maybe slimming down a little bit. Gary behind the plate is not great going to his right and going to his left blocking baseballs a little bit slow. We saw the bat this year a little bit slow. He might have to make some adjustments this offseason. I don't know if it's losing weight. I don't know if it's changing his routine. Something to get back to the quickness and the explosiveness that he had when he was a younger player. He's only going to be 28, Jack, but I think an adjustment has to be made. I think an adjustment has to be made. I think the Yankees have acknowledged that. When the season ended, general manager Brian Cashman, in talking about him, said, we could make a change. We could have a competition with Agashioka. But then he also added, Gary Sanchez has a lot of good baseball left in front of him. And I think that's where the Yankees are coming down on this. It's their job to try and fix Gary Sanchez. Now, I cannot get inside of Gary Sanchez's head. So I want to be a little careful as I say this. He did an interview with the New York Times reporter about two years ago where he talked about losing focus and not being able to concentrate. I wonder if at times that lack of focus and that becomes a problem for him on the offensive side and the defensive side. We've had great players talk about how 0 for 5 becomes 0 for 10, becomes 0 for 15 because you're letting it get inside of your head. Gary Sanchez is very talented. I wonder if some of these problems have come because he's gotten inside of his own head.